Thank you, Carmen, for that wonderful introduction. And I would like to add my welcome to all of you in this 50-year perspective. As I was driving here this morning, a little bit jet lag because I just flew in from a conference in Spain, in un ataque de nostalgia, uh, I started remembering uh, the lyrics of that beautiful song de Gardel, Volver, in which Gardel tells us that que 20 años no es nada, pero 50 sí son bastante, ¿verdad? <laughs> but today we're going to have an opportunity, I think, not just to look back, but to look forward, to look at the future. And hopefully this afternoon that will be my task, to sort of explore with you what role, if any, our Pedro Pan community can play in the future of Cuba. So hopefully we'll be able not just to indulge in the nostalgia, but also to look forward with hope and anticipation to the opportunity to do that. It is an honor for me to introduce now someone that in a very short period of time has earned the trust of, of our community, not just the Pedro Pan community, but, but the entire uh, South Florida community. Uh, someone that with his activism and his presence, I think also demonstrates the best tradition of the Catholic Church. Someone that actually needs no introduction, I'm not gonna read his bio, but please join me in welcoming the Archbishop of Miami, Thomas Winston. 